so our final speaker is Andrea Canessa, the Solutions Marketing Director at Oracle Communications, talking about taking control of the IoT value chain, rapidly offer, manage, and monetize M2M services now. Andrea. Hey, Matt. How are you? Hello, everyone. I am the last speaker before your lunch, and uh, so does it work? Yes. OK. So as uh, Matt mentioned, my name is Andrea Canessa. I work for Oracle Communications, and I've been looking into IoT for the last year and a half. Um, obviously, everything I say cannot be used against me. And, uh, and I don't need to speak about what is IoT. The fact that you are here, obviously, you know very well what IoT is. But I have a question for you. How many of you are communication service providers or MVNOs? Can you raise your hands? OK. Now, of all, now keep them up, please. Of all the ones that are CSPs or MVNOs, how many of you have an IoT offering? The one that uh, have it, don't have it, just down your end, OK? And of the IoT offering, how many of you offer more than just connectivity? OK. So the end's still, still a good number up. So on the, we all know, we all understand that IoT is hot, right? It's an hot market. And uh, we all understand that there are also challenges. Um, connectivity is, uh, is definitely not the, uh, the biggest value in IoT. Um, this is uh, uh, from, uh, according to OVUM, it will be just 10% of the revenues there uh, by 2018. Uh, now, the value in IoT is actually coming from something else, from value-added services. And as Oracle, we have a lot of offering. Um, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the Oracle offering in IoT. We had four offerings. One platform, and uh, offer now as a cloud service to enable IoT, building blocks that you can create IoT. On the Oracle communication, we have two offerings. One to manage the business and operation, your partner, your customer, your revenues, your offers, your orders that you will have with IoT. We have an offering for that. We have another offering to manage your, your uh, network, the impact on your network. And then we also have the Java Embedded, the devices. Four offerings. They are not enough. They are not enough because there is a lot of complexity. So what we have done in order to help uh, communication service providers and MVNOs to help to close the bridge from the connectivity that they have to the customers, what we have done is uh, we try to manage, to partner with the Tata Consultancy Services to offer an end-to-end -end offering. Uh, there are actually 400 CSPs around the world. Some of you here, they have more than connectivity in an IoT offering, but most of them don't really have more than connectivity. They just offer connectivity, and connectivity is just going to be just 10% of the revenues that you can make. So how do we enable CSP to cross the chasm, to start monetizing, or MVNOs, that they have connectivity to start monetizing on IoT? One of the things that we have seen in the previous, uh, in the previous presenter, there is a lot of complexity. Uh, there is a lot of complexity in IoT, and that complexity is actually what stops from the monetization. If a CSP needs to start to put all the pieces together, or an MVNO needs to start to be put the pieces together, just because they have connectivity, it will take a long time for them to monetize on IoT. So the complexity you can see is here, right? We have seen different slides there. There are different pieces that you need to, help, you need to fill up in order to go from your connectivity to your customers. The good news is that we actually put uh, an effort to make a, a private cloud offering of managed IoT services that is an end-to-end -end offering. 
and is offered to CSP or to MVNOs as a, uh, as a hosted offering, and uh, is uh, uh, several white-label IoT services that they are ready to be offered, and they, begin, they can be branded for your particular brand. And we have done that with the Tata Consultancy Services. And uh, these are just some of the examples of the white label services that we are offering. Uh, these are all on the telematics side. Uh, obviously, the next generation telematics, connected car. But uh, not only that, obviously, fleet management, uh, usage-based insurance, or Uber uh, kind of services. Uh, not only telematics, there is more. Smart building, uh, can be smart building or smart house. Intelligent management of uh, uh, energy, intelligent management of uh, uh, electricity, and uh, video surveillance and security, uh, asset monitoring and asset tracking, and uh, wellness and remote healthcare. So as you can see, these are eight different white label services that can be branded for a CSP or an MVNO, and they can be run so that the CSP and MVNO doesn't have to deal with all the complexity of uh, creating an IoT offering. And they can start actually offering, uh, after the branded and the setup of the private cloud offering is done, in as fast as 100 days. This is an example, the video surveillance, just to show you the different, uh, the different areas, right? First of all, you can sell. You have, a, uh, you have a, an application. You can do it through an app that you basically have different IoT services. That is a basically sales catalog. Out of your sales catalog, you will be able to order, to create your order with different options, different type of services that can be selected. And then you will be provisioned, you will be connected. Uh, there is a connection with workforce management. Somebody earlier on, one of uh, the other presenters mentioned workforce management. It can be installed, can be delivered, can be activated as a digital service on your network, and it's all done for you. And then the user can start using it. Can start using the application, moving the camera, check, it can be at home, it can be on your business, small and medium business, it can be for a large business, or it can be in your truck, in the back of your truck. Video surveillance can, can apply to many different, different areas. And uh, the good news is that uh, we have multiple options, and some of them may not have been ordered. Um, the user can get a warning, and uh, if he didn't order one of the options, like in this case, uh, uh, in this case, uh, uh, security alert. And uh, um, you have an upsell opportunity. The user is presented, uh, would you like to order now? With device-based ordering, the order is entered. The new service is provisioned. is now charged instead of on a subscription basis, but it's charged based on usage. And you are basically monetizing your revenues opportunities. So, the whole idea here is that uh, we are actually taking away the complexity by, with this private cloud offering. We are taking away the complexity of offering IoT. That's why our four different offers that we have at Oracle, they span everywhere from business and operation to the network management, to the devices, to the IoT enablement platform, they are not enough. That's why we actually partner with, uh, with TCS that created application on top of that that can be delivered. They are white label application that can be delivered right away. It's uh, really just the beginning. And that's why we did all this partnership. IoT is new. We all have great expectation, otherwise we will not be here. And uh, uh, we hope to see this, uh, this new opportunity booming for us and for our companies. 
If you have any questions, I would be happy to take them. And uh, if you don't have a question now, you can always contact me and, uh, and um, get in touch with me after the, after the session. Okay. Any questions? Sorry. So, so actually, having, Jeremy, having done Sterling work on the panel, we're a little ahead of time. So we do have a couple of minutes if there are any, any questions. Um, I, there don't seem to be any, but I, I have one, if, if, you, uh, if I may. Um, so your aim with the productized offerings is to, to present um, a set of applications that you have developed for CSPs. Now, are you also going to develop a, a, like a marketplace, an environment where third parties can develop applications for that, which will then get distributed out to the, to the, the carrier partners? Is that, so is that this one is a, is a hosted offering. So it's, uh, it's uh, the application that you have seen, the eight application. Thanks for your question. It's a good question. Uh, the, eight the eight application that you have seen are actually developed by TCS. And they are not newly, new application. They developed and they deployed before. This is all based on existing technology. The technology from Oracle has been deployed uh, in many different clients. Verizon Telematics is using our technology, and uh, many other clients are using our technologies. And so is the technology from TCS. We put them together, and we offer as a managed offering. Uh, as offer as a managed offering is pretty much offered by uh, TCS. And if uh, Exten is not a platform, an open IoT enablement platform that everybody can come and apply. But it's based on open standard. Obviously, partners are important. And we all understand that you will have uh, an application developer, an app uh, developer that you may want to plug into it. We all understand that. So it's open for that. But it's not an, an IoT enablement platform. We have one as Oracle. We have an IoT enablement platform. Um, many large CSPs are actually using it for their IoT offering. This is uh, something that is a complete self-contained offering that you can have hosted, and you can start launching and offer the IoT services to your clients. It's mainly targeted for CSP and MVNOs. Enterprise can use it too. Obviously, they don't have connectivity. We will need to bring a CSP in the, in the picture. Good. Any questions? If there aren't, then I think we'll, we'll break for lunch. Uh, Andrea, thank you.